what is the end result of that. Exactly. So that the universe can be clearer about what it is. Yes. Now, when I got my house, that was the strangest thing because I wasn't thinking about manifesting a house. I just was um, suddenly, and you know, I've been happily like nomadic, homeless for three and a half years now. Um, and if it weren't for the quarantine, I would still be bumming around the world and not feeling the need to, you know, settle down yet. But uh, there we go. There's one of those curly cues you like. I got three loops. Okay, so I just broke my spoon. Oh. I wanted to straighten it back up, but I guess he couldn't take it. <laughs> yeah. So it just hit me that it was time for me to get a house. And I just kind of, I found like whenever anything would get stressful, I would stop and say, well, this is not the way. And I would talk to my guides and say, let's find another way because I didn't want anxiety. So I guess like two weeks of going through that process, it was a month altogether from when I first thought it's time for me to get a house to when I put in the bid for my house. But in one of the meditations, it came down to me, a certain dollar amount would be the perfect amount to spend on this house. So I was like, okay. And also it was just like, every house I looked at that I fell in love with happened to be in the same town. Like I was looking at a general two state area, but every time I'm like, oh, here's someplace I love, it was always in the same town. I was like, okay, in the whole two states, every house I like is in this one town. And I just have it in my head, it should be this amount of money. And then I got a surprise, um, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, it was just like a surprise gift, financial gift for the exact amount of money for the house and the first year of taxes and insurance and half the money for buying a new car and all the money for the move. It was like a bundle of money was given to me out of the blue, like totally unexpected. And it happened to be the exact amount I needed. So um, the house is paid for in cash. Like I was given a free house. And then I was like, well, now I really need to work and earn money to like buy nice things for my house. And um, I got a full scholarship to get another degree in web design. Mm -hmm. So that, and it's online. And so now like within one month, I went from like homeless and unemployed, basically. I mean, we joke about nomadic traveling the world footloose, but really I was like homeless and unemployed to owning a house, two cars and having a full scholarship to go back to college and all of it just given to me. And it was because I went into the flow, but I also went forward with action and I communicated this is what I need to say in the flow. This takes me out of the flow. And I didn't even think about the fact that I was manifesting until afterwards it was done. I was like, like, you know, when you're spoon bending and you kind of go into a semi-trance state and yeah. you're so like, oh my God, did I just do this? <laughs> Manage the like night oh, has been the more challenging for me. Yeah. Take that out. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is what you do not want coming at you when you're in the dental chair <laughs> this one looks like it's running away <laughs> <laughs> so maria we have a question for you from ruth how many pieces of did you order and how many are left i guess of silverware I ordered a, uh, let me look at this set. It's a set service for four. So it's got four of uh, knives, forks, spoons, salad forks, and teaspoons. Mm -hmm. I have done, 
Actually, what do I have left? 